Why did I become a photographer? Somehow the camera gave me a, a feeling of belonging, of having a reason for being at a place or doing things. I never went to photographic school. I mean, all my background is really more pictorial. It's more history of art. I just went out into the fields and started taking pictures. <laughs> You know, I think the one thing I enjoy in, in photography is meeting people. I love to take portraits, and I usually try and choose my own subjects because I like to photograph people that I admire. Usually when you're taking a portrait of someone, you maybe you have half an hour or an hour to work with them. And, uh, you know, you have to remember that they're not, uh, they're not paid models. You, <laughs> you have to... <laughs> so you have to be quick. And you can't ask, well, I personally don't like asking people to to do certain things or to, I just prefer that they present themselves as they like to present themselves. So that's the animal in his habitat. <laughs> Before I was at Magnum, I was at an agency called Vue, which lasted only a year, and then we created an agency called Viva. And in fact, there were several... Magnum photographers who were at Viva, there was Guy Le Quirec and Richard Calva. And they left actually for Magnum before I did. I stayed on at Viva. My daughter, who was then, I think she must have been about seven or eight, she said to me, Mommy, why don't you work with Daddy? <laughs> and I said, well, listen, you know, it could be a little difficult. And, you know, he's a very famous photographer and... and Maybe it's better that we work in separate agencies. She said, yes, but then you'd see more of each other. My husband, who created Magnum, after all, with Kappa and Shim and, and George Roger. And, and anyway, I thought, well, after all, maybe she's not so wrong. When I first arrived in Magnum, Eve was one of the, yeah, I think she was the first woman that, that, I, that I met in, within Magnum. And I always remember her telling me, Martine, there's one thing you must never do, and that is tell your age, because after a certain age, no one will give you any work. <laughs> but it's impossible in this day of age to hide your age. <laughs> but I was very struck by what she said, and, and in a way, it, in a way, I guess it's true. I mean, you know, there are not as many women photographers as men photographers. That's for sure. But there are a lot of very, very competent women photographers and very talented, and uh, I'm sorry that they're not with us in Magnum. That's very much due to the, to the members of Magnum themselves. Women do apply at Magnum, but uh, if they're working with the press, they somehow always get put down by the men photographers. They don't, they say they're impossible to work with or they're, you know, they're not good on the field. <laughs> I just hope that there'll be more applications from women, but they, they're a bit discouraged because they know how difficult it is to get into Magnum. But I think it's up to us to, to encourage them and, and to maybe do a little bit more lobbying before the, <laughs> before the actual meetings take place. You know, when I started out taking photographs, I was, I was a very shy as a young woman. And somehow the camera gave me a reason to, to go places, to talk to people. I, I felt much more secure having a camera because it was a way of communicating. 